Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 4, but technically the PlayStation 5, because that's what we're playing on. And, uh, we are here on Novalis, or however you say it. And we gotta find somebody to repair the ship, but I wanna come back over here real quick. And activate the bombs. I hope there's more underwater, and I hope we can hold our breath longer. Because you know me, and underwater. It makes me quite happy. That is Pyrocitor. Oh, by the way, I was fiddling around with that Gravitron thing, and I upgraded the Pyrocitor thing, if that's what it's even called. I forget already. And I made it pretty good. I surrounded a whole thing and got a bonus, and I'm sorry I didn't show that on screen. So maybe that's why we're seeing more ammo drops for that now, too. But this is an optional thing in here. I'm going where the honeycomb icon is. Banjo Tui vibes here, going in the tunnels. Oh, please. Yeah, we really do cut it close, don't we? Combust the ammo. Yeah. I'm gonna combust your head. It's saying search. For hidden treasure in the caves. What treasure that might be, I don't know. What's this? Can you Ah, uh, what do you know? Little do you know that I'm about to tell you. I tried to do this already and I came from the backside. There's something back there. Well yeah, I came from the backside and I thought you couldn't climb that water tower, but there's a ladder there. Very good at breaking things. Well, thank you very you know, much. Said the same thing. Yeah, you want to hear the sound of a telephone? <laughs> all right, it's not a phone at all. It didn't even work appropriately because I had to grip the controller. I couldn't. I couldn't, you know, use my hands for the telephone noise. I know it doesn't make any bit of sense whatsoever. Oh, look at this! All this stuff is back. This must be the way out. Yeah, we've already been here. What are you talking about, Ratchet? You're being a Ratchet Lompax. No, this sounds like something else. Find someone to help repair your ship. Okay, let's do that. How do we get going? That's probably where I gotta go. I'm dumb. I just went all back towards everything that we just did. But yeah. Find someone to help repair your ship. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas charcoal. It almost sounds like the telephone noise. It doesn't sound like that at all. I don't know why I'm in such a goofy mood all of a sudden. Ratchet jumped and jumped and seriously, what's with all the jumping? That would be an action game, sir. Hey. Get out of here, wise guy. Weisenheimer. Nintendo Capri Sun is recording at the current moment of me recording this. Ninja Turtles on the NES. And he's practiced it, and he's got some really good tips, and it looks pretty cool. And I was cracking up in that video because of what he said about April O'Neil <laughs> and just the lyrics that he made. <laughs> I don't know, you gotta go watch it up. Look up Nintendo Capri Sun, Ninja Turtles, NES, Part 1. And have yourself a merry little. Proton Drum? I got enough bolts to bolt your head to the wall. You interrupt my sentence once more time. Once more time. All you gotta do is shut your trap. Yeah, I feel like I'm in the groove now. There's less banter going on. We're allowed to just be goofy. 
I want to be a Lombax, dude. If I could be an animal loid ish dude. Maybe Lombax is what I want. Concern it. Nice boy. Is it yours? Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been. Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drax forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargy and dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Well, sure thing. I swabbed it from one of those blog soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was, caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you! Drek Industries is not working for you. <laughs> I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Speaking of Ninja Turtles. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Hang on, there's crates in there. Oh, yeah. It's pretty sweet, actually. It's like all the joys of a real water slide without having to actually do it. Want to do it again? Okay, let's see what we got here. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. <laughs> yeah, there's all these nods to the fact that it is a reimagining reboot. And I, I can't follow the nods. Deploy a supermassive pseudo atom that regularly emanates. A wide disk of damaging subatomic. Good news. Oh, I just might make my quarter this week. So, we only have one rare titanium. But well, see, this is what I did with the uh, pyrocitor. Yeah, let's do it. No, let's not do it. Let's go for ammo instead. Balance it out a little bit. Get that combustor being a little bit better. Because it's a little bit weaker than it used to be. No, it's not. That thing looks all kinds of crazy. But we'll go back to the combustor. We're going to treat that as our main dude. All right. Ratchet and Clank were delighted to discover that their newly repaired ship now had an upgraded hyperspace navigation computer. Okay, we were already on Velden apparently. Kerwan is next. Deliver the infobot. That's what we have to do. But yeah, there was that Skid McMarks thing too. Let's just go in order. 
Reminds me of Star Wars a little bit. Kirwan. We're too late. The invasion has started. Scan the emergency channels. We need to find out what's happening on the ground. Attention, all units! The Hall of Heroes is under attack! Repeat! Enemy ships are now in the central district of Aliro City. Galactic Rangers are under heavy fire at the Hall of Heroes. And there's a Blark transport closing in fast. Brace for Warbot reinforcements, Rangers. All civilians, evacuate the area! We must Ooh, assist how do I the Galactic Rangers. This? Activating weapon systems. Weapons online. You may now attack the transport. Oh, okay, it's not inverse controls. That's weird. I'm used to inverted controls with all flying stuff. Ratchet, now might be a good time to test those weapons. Captain, we have an unidentified ship providing assistance. Oh, am I shooting down the good guys? This is kind of neat, though. Transports. Those transports are dropping off warbots all over the city. Not on my watch. See, I don't know if these markers would be here if I wasn't playing on casual, so I will gladly take Mark it. Transport down. He took out another ship. Whoever. Another transport down. It appears there are only three ships left. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Looks like you got all the transports. But we still gotta take out that warship. Hmm. The Warbot's armor is made of a raritanium alloy. If we could propel a Warbot at the ship with sufficient velocity, I believe it would penetrate the hull. Awesome. And how do we do that? Your weapon package includes a mag booster. I am rewriting the software to isolate the Warbot's armor. Ah, there. You should now be able to pick up Warbots using the Mag Booster. Okay, let's try this out. Mag Booster active! There should be some Warbots nearby. You can now pick them up and pull them toward the warship. Okay. Kind of weird that that was locked for a minute. Okay, Warbots. Hang on tight! Do I have to hold it or just let go? I don't want to drop them. My finger feels feels really weird right now. And it's because I was having chips and queso and I ran out of chips. And so then I had the rest of the queso with my finger. <laughs> I washed my hands, but I don't know. I can tell that it's been up to something cheesy. System fully utilized. We may not engage any additional warbots. Now. What do I do? Square. Yeah, these button mappings are weird. Holy cow! That was awesome. Well done, Ratchet. <laughs> One in a million. Let's do it again. Okay, a couple of rounds of this. Hit it. We have enough power for a few more warbots if you make another pass. For the trailer of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, one of the things I was most excited for was the ship stuff because I knew nothing about it and I saw it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wonder how that's going to be. Madhouse up here. Hit should do it. All right, let's go to this big cluster again. Maybe we can get them all in one scoop. Oh, yeah. We cannot carry any more warbots. Release! Return to sender. Warship down. We did it. That was pretty cool, man. Whoever you are. Sometimes it seems like the cutscenes are 30 frames instead of 60. All right, everyone, let's give these heroes 
some breathing room. I'm happy to field all questions on their behalf. Dallas Wanamaker here. Uh, does this mean you'll be asking these two heroes to join the Rangers? Say what now? <gasps> <laughs> oh, I don't see why not. And that is how dumb luck helped a rookie Lombax take out a Blargian warship. That wasn't no dumb luck. He and that robot made a great pair. That's enough out of you, solitary Bill. Sheesh. You give a guy your pudding cup once, and then you can never get rid of him. So, what happened next? Well, Drek didn't take too kindly to having his plan ruined by a Lombax and his robot pal. So he sent Blargian mercenaries to take them out. All systems operational, but we should get back to the Hall of Heroes. Hey, Ratchet, where'd you go? We're supposed to start your training in a few minutes. Sorry, Brax. Clank and I ran into a bit of, uh, ship trouble. Looks like there's still a few Blarg in the city. We must have missed them during our sleep up the perimeter. Brax, you better check the Hall of Heroes and make sure they didn't make it inside. Copy that. In the meantime, there's a friend not far from your position who can help you out. Uh -oh, His name's Al. I was gonna wait until after training to introduce you, but now's as good a time as any. Find him and ask him to upgrade Clink. If he knows it's for the Rangers, he should do it for free. Is that the holo card guy? Yeah, we know about him. Is this Al? Mr. Zircon? Oh wow, that's expensive. Al the holo card. Oh, this must not be Al. I don't know who this guy is, but he talks in that accent. Like all you gotta do is get out of my face. How you guys feeling? You feeling good? Feeling fine? Did you recently dip your finger in cheese? Because, uh... As odd as it may sound, it's actually quite fantastic. Oh, what? Ah, there's the Proton Drum. The Proton John. No, I'm just kidding. We gotta upgrade that thing, son. Metal dogs. Yeah, I could see myself getting hooked into this. I'm feeling it a little bit more. I don't know why. I'm, I'm suddenly, there's like a mood boost happening. Blame the cheese. When in doubt, thank cheese. And when in doubt, have cheese. Because cheese... Levels up your combustor, man. That's what cheese does. Ah, so how often you use a weapon unlocks its skill tree upgrade system. Or its upgrade tree. I think I just saw a rare titanium thing. Hmm. Almost looks like we could maybe jump across that girder thing, but... There are more blog approaching. Alright, Clank. With your weird voice. Man, a wrench almost is better than the combustor. Are you a queso person or hey, salsa? Ratchet, are you at Al's place yet? Almost there. Ah, that must be Al's. Oh, crud. Out of my way, Nimrods. Let's try the Pyrocitor. Yeah! 
burn, you stupid dogs! That must be big out place. That's all of them. I'm kind of feeling it now. I understand the switching between weapons and just having a good time with it. Holy cow. I've died and gone to nerd heaven. Look at this. They have my blaster runs hot. Fungoid with a stick. Oh, Sparrow the Space Moose. They even have the Mega Limited Ultra Edition of Intransigence Fall of Blarg. <clears throat> that one comes with exclusive content if you pre-ordered through Gadgetron. I take it you're the ones Korra called me about? The ones in need of a new Helipack upgrade? You must be Big Al. It is nice to meet you. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Well, any friend of Korra's is a friend of mine. She and I kind of have a will-we-won't-we we romance in progress. Uh-huh. Hop onto my workbench. I'll get you all squared away. Just reattaching the sister board, connecting the data port, and presto! Try it out! Looking good, pal. Getting back to the Hall of Heroes is easy. Just head this way until you find the Graf Train Station. That'll take you straight back. Thanks again, Big Al. Big Al. He should be selling pretzels. This afternoon, Blark forces attacked the Hall of Heroes in a daring attempt to assassinate the Galactic Rangers. The assault was put to a thrilling end thanks to the work of a Lombax named Ratchet and his friend... Am I reading this right? Clank? Here's the official statement from local hero, Captain Quark. I just want everyone to know that the Galactic Rangers have every... The duo forged ahead, using their helipacks enhanced jump capability. Sorry, I was listening to that banter that was going on. That's why I haven't been saying anything. Oh, that's kind of neat. Before now, long jumps would have only been possible for heroes like myself. Fortunately, Clank's new helipacks have helped them come closer to my level of greatness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see this through now. I'm feeling it. And you all found themselves at a perilous drop. Would their new helipack help them glide to safety? Wait, why is it saying... Double jump. Am I jumping down at something? There's nothing... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Ah, okay. I don't know, something about Ratchet. Oh, jeez, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Okay, we're good. Yeah, something about Ratchet's design. It's like the first character I've looked at in a while where I have this urge to burn everything. No, to, uh... To draw him. I haven't drawn things in a very long time. And I don't know, he just seems like... A cool character to draw. Oh yeah, look at all that goodness. Mm -hmm. He would fit in well with Smash, I think. If it was a licensed thing allowed. But I guess there's PlayStation All-Stars, isn't there? And he's probably in that. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about PlayStation All-Stars. But dare I say, I might be becoming a fan of this Ratchet and Clank business. We gotta play into it more and see. It's like a mix of Jet Force Gemini and like an adventure thing. Well, that's what Jet Force Gemini was. Except, I don't know. It's got that melee component, which is a little bit different. And the presentation is just light-hearted fun, you know?
Yeah. Ride the train to the Hall of Heroes. The A train is now arriving. Please stand clear. Attention, all passengers. Due to the recent explosion, all trains may be swarming with armed guard mercenaries. We apologize for this inconvenience. Nice. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the combustor, really. But I wonder if when that thing's fully upgraded, it's actually a beast. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that at all. That hurt. There it is. Come on, let's hitch a ride. I'm off the wagon and I'm hitching a ride. Travelers, Grab Train D is about to depart. Next stop, the Hall of Heroes. Please stand clear. The A train is now departing. Please mind the gap while exiting the train. Clank, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, you ain't gonna be transporting nothing. I like it. It's just easy fun. This is why we pick casual. It was actually tough the very first time. Jeez. Got Shadows of the Empire flashbacks there. Level 4 of the, the train. Raritanium just floated onto me. Why are we spinning that? What does that do? Locked over this grapple thing. I guess. Oh, yeah, look at that. What? I was just going to check for bolts, man. I didn't know there was a gap. Wait, where am I? This is all new. Did I conveniently die at a checkpoint? It seems to be. As you live your life like a candle in the wind. Well, that's that proton drum. This Kerwan place is something else. I hope that didn't cost too much. Oh, I see. That's a big I'm fish sure in there. There's a very good reason for transporting killer fish. Piranhas. What is that? Oh, live animals on board. Yeah, I don't know my own answer to that queso versus salsa question because I like them both. Have you ever mixed them? That could be good, maybe. I feel like every game is made better with an action train sequence. Like every game just, I don't know, it's just something about trains, I guess, because it never really goes wrong. I guess it's just the idea of being in transit. That bomb has a five kiloton payload. Detonating it near the Hall of Heroes will be catastrophic. And we better move fast. Do we actually have to move fast? Let's try out different weapons. Bomb this guy with our grenades. Nice. Really taking a lot of hits. And then combustor for these guys. I'm really not doing too well though, even for casual difficulty. Oh, I just leveled up. Max health. Yeah, some stuff takes too many hits, I think. It could be faster more focused on the fun than the realism or something.
Rax, come in. We're arriving at the Hall of Heroes. Copy that, Ratchet. I'll meet you at the front entrance and we'll begin your training. We've been cleared to attack Drek Industries in three days. That means you two are getting the accelerated course. Ha! That's right, Lives at Home 472. What's the matter? Don't like getting your butt kicked. Hey, Alaris. Hi, Rax. Alaris here is in charge of developing our gear and providing tactical support. Usually it's the former. The Rangers are the shoot first, think later type. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to sound like that. Like what now? Come on, I'll show you around. Let's go, cadet. Time to make you a ranger. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun! Your protosuit is the most advanced combat armor on the market. And it comes in all the latest fall colors. Sweet. This is awesome. So what next? Halo jump into enemy territory? Suborbital combat training? In time, rookie. Next up is basic training. The captain designed this fitness course to help us reach our top physical condition. Good luck. All right. We got a cool new suit. Although I kind of liked his other outfit better, to be honest. Greetings, cadets, and welcome to the Captain Court Fitness Course. Here, you'll work on your physical strength as well as your, uh... Thinking strength. Are you ready to get started? Then let's Wall go. jumps make a game better too. I think I just like action games. Do I like action games more than adventure? Because they usually the blend. Justice. Your quadriceps must be burning with righteousness. And aim. Quadriceps, is that what you would primarily use? I guess so. You would think there would be some hamstrings and calves with wall jumps. Yeah, that's nothing we haven't seen in like every other game before too. Now the question is, on the higher difficulties, is the speed of these things more rapid? And therefore more challenging. You never can tell. Oh yeah. Indeed we have. Oh, I didn't know holding X. It said that before, but I pressed R1 again, because that's what it taught us to do first with this thing. Whatever. Oh, we should probably think about ending things off, shouldn't we? Gold bolts unlock extras. View them from the pause menu. Hmm. Oh, image galleries cheats. I mean, that could be fun to mess with, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just focused on getting to a good stopping point. It's hard with the auto save. I wish there was a manual. Aren't you just full of stuff you can do? Meet me outside the Hall of Heroes. I have an assignment for you. I do wonder if we'll ever have a civilization like this. Will we ever get flying cars? It has to happen sometime, right? Just many, many years in the future. Since you're now one of us, I thought it was time to get you a new ride. Whoa, a Class G Star Jumper? Is this for me? Technically, it's Galactic Ranger property, but if you survive, uh, complete this super secret yet completely on the level mission, she'll be yours to use however you like. What is this secret mission? I call it Operation Falling Star. Congratulations, Cadet. You 
You've been selected for Operation Falling Star. Galactic Ranger Intel tells us Chairman Drek has a state-of-the-art weapons lab in Nebula G34. Your mission is to destroy his top-secret project without, and this is important, telling anyone. Ever. Seriously, this is our little secret. Sure, but I don't see why... Please save your questions until the end of the presentation. You'll need to access Drex's laboratory using a trespasser, your wits, and the kind of fortitude normally found in more seasoned rangers. Get in, destroy whatever he's working on, and get out. I'll monitor your position from here. Good luck. I wish I could be there to see you off, but I have an urgent appointment with my acupuncturist. Call me when you arrive at Nebula G34. I'm counting on you, Ratchet. You got it, Captain. Alright, well there's our stopping point. That's gotta be a save. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you next time. Take care.